ever. Good morning, Lizzie. Great good to see morning, you. Good morning, Steve. Michael, so good to see you. It's always great to see you. And, and this book, this book, is it's really a love letter to children. I love it. So how do you want them to feel when they read this book? I want children to feel and know that they are loved and adored and cherished and specifically for why. I mean, parents often tell their children perhaps several times a day, I love you, but we often don't tell them I love you because, for the specifics of because of your curiosity or your creativity or your laugh or your joy or your playfulness. And I think it'll be so powerful for parents to read this book to their children pretty much as an affirmation of how much they love them and why. And, and the title of the book, Stay This Way Forever, I've said that about my kids when they were about six or seven years old, and I know your son Aiden, he is seven. So what part of this book is based on a thing that he actually does? You know, the whole thing. I mean, he's really my muse. He is my inspiration for why I do all of these children's books. And I really think that parents are going to relate. They're the moments that you try to memorize before they slip away, that if you could just kind of savor and push that pause button and freeze, you know, certain aspects of, of childhood that you know that are, are fleeting and you really want to hold on to and embrace. And I think about specifically with my own son, you know, hearing the pitter patter of his feet before he jumps and climbs into bed with us in the morning or the certain way that he laugh, laughs or dances and just these moments that I just want to hold on to. Yeah, I know that feeling too, all too well. And as, much as, as much as you do here at ABC, you have found the time to write your third children's book. This is your third one. I don't know how you do it, but it, it must be important for you to expose readers to diverse characters. Yeah, I think certainly where what you're passionate about, you're going to find a way to do it. And initially, it was really the importance of uh, making sure that my son was able to see himself reflected in books. But now I, I look at it additionally that this is uh, to allow parents to expose their children. I, I think and, and I hope that especially uh, coming <laughs> off of the, the so-called uh, racial reckoning, the summer that we had where parents were thinking, well, what can we do and what kind of conversations can we have? And I think that you can start uh, by having toys and books and giving that gentle introduction, mm. um, exposing, giving your kids experience to kids who don't look like them. You know, I hope that parents won't say, oh, well, this is a book with black and brown characters, and so this isn't for my child. It is. It is for everybody. And, and your books, they are bestsellers. And why do you think they resonate with family so much? I mean, I, I would like to think that it's because it's pure, it's genuine, it's authentically who I am as a mom. And I think that it's not that I'm trying to imagine what would it be like to have a child or to have these experiences in these various stages or, or hopes and, and what you're trying to instill and inspire in your child. I'm living it every day. And, and I imagine that my experience is that of parents who are just trying to do their best in loving their their children and, and raising good solid citizens and you're doing your best you're inspiring so many you inspire us here you know at gma and we got to say a big congratulations you are the co-anchor of break weekend yes. world news tonight yes. and you are the first black woman in 18 years to lead a primetime news show on yes. abc yes. so how does that feel well, you know, I, I certainly have to pay homage to, you know, Carol Simpson, who first had that spot. And, and I would say that, that she and, and Robin Roberts and a handful of others who really paved the way. There's so much power, Michael, mm. as you know, mm. in seeing someone who looks like you achieve and excel. And I can't say as a little girl that I grew up thinking that I wanted to be a journalist, but certainly the seed of possibility was planted mm -hmm. because I saw that it was within reach, that it was tangible. And so, more than anything, I feel grateful. And so, grateful to, to Carol and Robin, uh, who is a, a constant mentor for me. My baby's growing up. <laughs> My baby's growing up. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, and, and, and I love, um, Lindsay, when you say the seed was planted, because now you're planting a mm -hmm. seed with everyone who's watching what you're mm -hmm. doing in your career, and also with your books. And as you said, these books are for everybody out there. And we appreciate you taking your time this morning. It's always great to see you. Thank you all for having me. So good to be back in the building. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> know the feeling.